helping you succeed in business and in life in 2018. We're joined by Dr. Patty Ann Tublin to answer your questions in today's Tuesday Tips. It's great to have you here with us. Happy 2018. Happy New Year. Are you, are you ready? I am ready. Bring it on. You're organized? You're set to go. Good to go. All right. We're well, halfway there. Wait, it's like the ninth already. Halfway through, yeah. halfway through <laughs> January. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Our first question this morning is from Elizabeth in New Haven. Now, so she is asking her, that her company recently merged with another one. Following the merger, she was assigned to a project she absolutely detests. Okay, what can she do to get out of this? This horrible work assignment. Okay. Should she even try to get out of this? Okay. So let me be kind. Okay. I think Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I think she needs an attitude adjustment. That's what I thought. Because <laughs> good. <laughs> because in a merger, many people lose their jobs. So I think she needs to be keyword for the year. Maybe grateful that she even has a position and she has an assignment to go to. Having said that. I can understand that it might stink to have to be doing something day in and day out that you don't like. So this is my advice for Elizabeth. Do the best job that you can, change your attitude, be grateful that you have a job to go to, and then, as you know, I believe very strongly, all success begins with relationships. Develop authentic, positive relationships with the management, perhaps they're new people or people that you didn't know before. And when you develop healthy, authentic relationships, new opportunities will open up to you. Okay, so you're basically you're saying get, get rid of that attitude because it, it is easily detected. Oh, you have a chip on your shoulder, mm -hmm. people know, and then nobody wants to work with you. And then guess what? You might not have a project to work on. That's, that's true. Because nobody's that smart where they can't be replaced. And these days, businesses really want to see that team player. They want to see the team player. They want people with good communication skills. And really, it's about emotional intelligence. Because unless you're like putting a, you know, a rocket on Mars, chances are somebody else can do your job. So... Be positive. We are all, yeah, there's always somebody <laughs> who's willing to take on our job. Absolutely. 